If the seven digit number x eighty nine forty two y four is divisible by forty six, what is the value of x square plus y four, the largest value of y, where x and y are natural numbers? Here, when a number is divisible by forty six, it should be divisible by both eight and seven. That is, here x eighty nine forty two y four should be divisible by eight and seven. Now check the divisibility rule of eight. When a number is divisible by eight, its last three three digits should be divisible by eight. That is, two y four is divisible by eight means y can be either two or six because unit digit is four. So sixty four or twenty four is possible. But here question says y should be largest possible value. So y is not two, y is six here. So from this y is equal to six. Now check the divisibility rule of seven. But before that, here question. Is asking us to find out x square plus y. So x square plus y means x square plus six. X square plus six is given in this four option. So if I subtract six from this option, you will get x square. Thirty-three minus thirty-three minus six is equal to twenty-seven, which is not a square. Forty-four minus six is twenty-eight, is not a square. Fifty-five minus six is equal to forty-nine as a square, so this is possible. Seventy minus six is equal to sixty-four. This is also a square, so this is possible. So x can be either seven or eight, because forty-nine as x square means x is seven. Sixty-four as x square means x is eight. So put the value of x as seven or eight in this number and check whether it is divisible by seven. Or directly apply divisibility rule of seven. Number is x eighty nine four two y four means six four. Now to check the divisibility rule of seven, split the number as split the number as three digit number starting from the left hand side. That is two sixty four a ninety four x. Now if this number is divisible by seven, then Eight ninety four minus two sixty four plus x should be divisible by seven. Here eight ninety four minus two sixty four is six thirty. Six thirty plus x should be divisible by seven means here six thirty is completely divisible by seven. So here x is equal to seven. X is equal to seven. So option three is your answer. That is if x is seven here. X squared plus y is equal to fifty-five.